good morning children today we are going to learn open and closed figure open figure and closed figure here itself we can understand if it is open that is open figure if it is closed it is a closed figure but you may think it is very simple open is open closed is closed but there is a little difference is there i will explain what it is now see here i am writing o so i am starting from here and i am ending at the same same point i am starting here and i am ending at the same point so if it is starting and an ending at the same point it is the closed figure starting and ending at the same point that is a closed figure okay anything can be now even if i am drawing like this see i am starting here and i am ending here so this is a closed figure okay but if it is see i am starting here and i am ending here starting point is here and ending point is here and this is not closed now this is opened okay so this is opened figure open figure okay if the starting and ending point is the same in the figure that is closed figure if the starting and ending point is a, it is a different one means it is a open figure okay anything we can uh, do now now if you write letter a it is starting here and ending here okay so this is not a closed figure it is opened here so this this is a open figure okay it is open so if it is in in your simple words for you means closed one is closed figure open one is open figure but all closed one cannot be a closed figure you must remember that it should start and end in the same point then only it is a closed figure okay so this is very easy only by looking at the picture you can understand now next we are going to learn the concurrent figure concurrent figure means suppose if i am drawing a circle see if i draw it may look same it is looking same only but there is a little different because i am not drawing with the same measurement okay so if it is having the same shape and size it should be same shape and size if it is in same shape and same size then it is a concurrent figure if i am drawing a square both must be same size and the same shape okay here without measurement i have drawn so there will be little different but uh, you can see you can see in the figures by looking at the figure itself you can understand whether it is in same shape and the same size Okay, then it is uh, this one. Suppose now I am drawing triangle, and another one is a rectangle. See here, this shape is different. This shape is different. So this cannot be a concurrent figure. So the shape is different. So this cannot be a concurrent figure. Okay, so now I will give another example. So now I am drawing. Oh. Uh, drawing a triangle you can see one is big one is small this is big size this is small size so this size is different shape is same but the size is different so this is also cannot be a concurrent figure so concurrent figure means it should be a same shape and the same size then only it can be a concurrent figure so it is not very difficult you can even you can look at in your book on page number 137 okay 137 down there is some thing some examples are given for concurrent figures see this two looks the same size and the same shape okay and here also this three you can look into same size and the same shape so they are concurrent figures and here down some examples are given from here you can find see this s shape both are same shape and same size so this is concurrent figure here you see this shape is different one is square another one is circle so this is not a concurrent figure so it is given no again here uh, the circle one is a big circle another one is a small circle since one is big and one is small so it is given no okay, it is not a concurrent figure and here you see it is a rectangle but it is 
uh, one is given vertically another one is given horizontal but both the shape and size are same okay it can be given any rotation okay any rotation maybe it is turned into left side or right side or up or down you have to see only it uh, its say shape and size okay what shape it is and what size it is you should not see it is in which side whether it is slanting or it is uh, straight or it is bending you, you don't need to see how to just check the shape and the size if the shape and uh, shape and size is the same then it is confirmed that it is a concurrent figure okay so this is not much difficult it is easy today we are also going to learn tangram so tangram is a chinese game it is a puzzle game game chinese game so that is they we cut a paper in the square shape after the square shape we cut into different shapes from their five shapes or five pieces or seven pieces we make of different shapes that is you have already learned that plane figures no like square rectangle triangle again you will learn uh, parallelogram also you will learn so that type of figure you will learn and uh, after cutting it we make uh, all uh, if it is seven pieces all the seven pieces we put together and we make any animal or any uh, any shape we make it any design we make it so that is uh, that is a tangram so it is it is not a particular you have to do only this one uh, it will it is your own mind no you can make creatively you can do what others cannot do also you can do okay i want you all to make this one this will become the next project i am thinking okay i will see whether is there any project available otherwise i will do this one so let's start now first i will teach the five pieces tangram how to make so first you take any paper any size paper you take and that you have to change into the square piece okay to make a square piece i will teach how to do the square piece otherwise you can take a square paper so you take this if you if you are taking this one this two corner is there this corner it has to come here that way you have to fold it just it has to come here and this this also should be like this like a triangle shape this edge no this this edge this edge has to come exactly on this edge this edge has to come exactly on this edge that way you have to fold it you have to fold it so if you fold it it will become like a triangle like a triangle so now this extra pieces is there no so this extra pieces so that extra pieces you can fold and cut it otherwise without folding also you can cut it so i have folded so that we won't make mistake so now i am cutting it this is not needed this i am cutting it now you can see like this you will get the square now when you open this it will be triangle shape when you open you will get like a square so now this fold and make the shape so that it will be easy for you okay now this one fold in this into just to mark this mark the place just to you have to press it here so that it, you can mark it easy like this four again here one Okay, press it this part so that you will get the mark there okay. two fold again four fold then after that like a triangle shape okay the last one is a triangle shape others are like square shape so now after mark pressing it when you press now you will get the, all the marks here so this is you will you for you it will be easy for you to make the shape okay so first triangle i am getting so that i will mark and show the triangle first triangle is this this part this part is the first triangle you can cut and take so in this way any side you can cut okay any side this middle part that is first triangle that i am cutting it so that you have folded no the same place you can cut 
I have cut after cutting it I am getting the triangle here so this triangle I am keeping it aside okay this is one of the shape here five five shape we are getting five pieces now this is one of the pieces okay so now we will find the next piece so the next piece you can take this side or this side now this folding here you have this folding so this there is a mark I told you to press it now so here you can get it and this mark so this you can you are getting it one triangle and here one square you are getting so these two pieces now we will cut and take Now I got the three pieces. Okay, in five pieces, three pieces I have got. Now two pieces we have to get. So for that two pieces, what we have to do? Look here. So now this edge, this edge has to come here. That way you have to fold. This edge must lie on this edge. That way you have to fold and press it. You have to fold and press it. If you fold and press it, now you will get here. See here, you will get one triangle and this is parallelogram. You have not learned, so you will learn in higher classes. This is parallelogram. So two shapes you are getting. So this shape now we will cut. Now we have got five pieces okay so this two two concurrent this both two are same okay same size and the same same shape so two concurrent triangles one bigger triangle again one parallelogram and one square so these are the five pieces this is one type of one type of tangram so with these five pieces you can make any shape Okay, so this is 5 pieces of tangram. Now I will teach you 7 pieces of tangram how to do. For this also you have to take a square, square shape paper. So for that this edge has to come on this line. Lie on that line. That way you have to fold this paper. So if you fold you are getting it one triangle so this is the extra piece that extra piece we will cut and take you will get a triangle so now if you open you will get a square so this square in the middle part you have the, that pressed line you will have and this side one triangle and this side one triangle you will get so this middle part we will cut it after cutting the middle part I have two triangles now so in these two triangles you take one of the triangle and fold it here in the middle you fold it in the middle you fold it in the middle and if you open you will get two triangles so this middle line now you have to cut this middle line If you cut this middle line, now we have got two medium size, uh, two, this one medium size triangle you have. This is concurrent triangles. You have learned already. Concurrent means same size and the same shape. So if you keep on this, it will be same size and the same shape. So this is two triangle. You are getting it two triangle. So these are the two pieces. Now we have to get five more pieces. So from here we are going to cut five pieces. So that how to do. Let's see. Okay, so this also you fold in the middle. This way you fold. Fold it correctly. If you fold correctly only this part will be okay. So after folding it, now we are getting this middle line. 
they are getting it this middle line so this edge this sharp edge has to touch this touch this line where it is here now so this part it has to touch so that way you fold it now this way you have to fold it see here this part is here so now if you fold and press it here now if you open here you are getting one line so this line after this you are getting one triangle so in this line you cut and you will get one triangle one small triangle okay you have got the third one so two big triangle and this is a medium sized triangle okay three figures you have got now from here we have to make four pieces so i let me teach you the four pieces how to do already you have this middle line so in that middle line you make a cut so after making it after cutting it now you have here like this so in this this edge let it come on this that we have to fold so if you fold and this remaining part also you fold it like this so if you fold like this and if you open you see here this line so the second one what you folded that line you cut it so now if you cut this is the square okay so this if you, it should be straight so this is a square you will get and this is a triangle you will get this is a small triangle and this is a square so all we have got five pieces so two more pieces we have to get so that two more pieces let me tell how to do okay this is same in the last five pieces last we have did no so this edge has to come on this that way you have to fold it so that way if you fold you are getting this line so on that line you cut make a cut if you make a cut now you will get one triangle and one parallelogram okay so now we have you have two small concurrent triangles two small concurrent triangles one medium triangle one square one parallelogram and two concurrent big triangles okay two big triangles two small triangles one medium sized triangle one parallelogram one one square you will get so seven pieces these are the seven pieces so these two are concurrent and these two also concurrent and these three are not concurrent okay so now using this this shape what you have given in your book that i will make it one figure i will make it and you will get some idea to do how to do i am using this seven pieces i am making a rabbit you see here so i am keeping the square here square piece again two concurrent small triangle is there that i am keeping on the top again this is one of the one of the concurrent uh, big pieces okay big piece triangle this is a medium sized triangle I am keeping it here medium sized triangle and this is a big sized triangle and this is a parallelogram okay if i keep here now we are getting a rabbit i think now you can see so this is the rabbit these are the seven pieces with that we are making the rabbit i think this tail you can't see if i keep like this and it is okay so this is okay so this is the way we make the uh, tangram so you can make any pieces there are in last year book there are so many uh, this one figures were shown but this figure this this year in this new book only two figures are shown you can make many things okay using these seven pieces are the first uh, five pieces i taught now with that you can make any number of pieces okay so you have to do this way and you have to show one thank you